How's it going? Hi, hello, how's it going? It's Elena. And today I'm bringing you guys a little haul. Actually, it's not little, that's a total lie. I'm bringing you a big haul. And so I have quite a few items to share. Most of them are thrifted, but I'm trying to incorporate some non-thrifted items in my hauls because I also buy things that aren't just thrifted. And so I figured I should share some of those with you because then you can actually buy it for yourself if you so desire. It's finally starting to feel like fall here. You may have noticed that I wore sweaters in my last two videos. I'm currently wearing one right now. But it's never exactly been sweater weather where I've lived for the vast majority of my life, so I'm fully embracing the chilly season now that it's upon me, and I'm going to wear all the sweaters and all the comfy clothes, and it's, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna start with this piece. I have like a huge pile of clothing right here, so every time I look over, that's where I'm looking. So the first item I got is this piece right here. It is this yellow button down blouse type of situation. I'm loving the color of this as well as just this like very fine detailing along the back. It kind of has this like funky little pattern going on to it, which I'm into. I'm obsessed with mustard yellow. It's probably my favorite color. So this is just right up my alley. I like it because I'm trying to incorporate some more long sleeve pieces in my wardrobe. I just don't have a lot. The time is upon me and this should uh, do the trick. The next thrifted little number is another button down because you know I'm great at diversifying my wardrobe if you follow me for a little while you may or may not know that I am obsessed with the 70s I just love it I always have I was like in a full-on 70s phase not too long ago where I literally just wore like bell bottoms and like cords all the time which I still kind of do but I've grown a bit I love this piece because it screams 70s to me it is this kind of like sheer material with the most epic embroidery along the top part of the neckline it's very flowy and loose so it's super comfortable and I'm just obsessed with like the pattern and wearing it tied up with a pair of bell bottoms literally makes me feel like a 70s queen one of my favorite color schemes is just that very like retro and also fall themed colors I'm gonna be wearing this all the time so the next thrifted piece is this and it's an extra large from Gap. It's super tight on me so either I'm just huge or maybe it's kids. I'm loving the color and the fit and the little collar and just how it kind of has that like ripped pattern. I think this is just gonna be great for fall for layering. I could put like a cute banty over it or I could just like layer a bunch of sweaters on top of it. I kind of feel like a dad in it but like whatever I'm gonna be a hot dad in it. It's gonna be great. Then I got this thrifted blouse. I got this one at Goodwill for only like two or three bucks which was great. I swore for the longest time that I would never give in to like the animal print trend but it's growing on me like I'm obsessed with the faux snakeskin like everything like I have it in pants I have a top and so yeah I like this I don't I don't have anything cheetah and I'm not someone that necessarily would like love a cheetah print but we're going with it. It's just like so comfy and easy to wear button downs you can just like put them on with a pair of jeans tuck it in or tie it or just follow your heart and it like almost always looks great. And now onto the non-thrifted tops. I got two tops from Free People, which I'm loving. I got this top right here, which I think is so gorgeous. I am obsessed with this fit right now. I keep seeing it kind of like with Reformation and some other brands. And I think it's just so pretty. I think it'd be such a super cute and easy look to just like pair it with high-waisted blue jeans and a bunch of jewelry. So if I'm going to some type of event or like a dinner or like a birthday party, it's great because it's like a little bit more dressy. Like I kind of feel like I'm a medieval jester, but like I'm into it. It's still really comfortable and it can be like casual or it can be super chill just kind of based on you decide to dress it but this is another piece that's also from free people i absolutely adore it it's kind of similar to button down since it has like these embroidered flowers all over it i love the lines on the shirt it has the v and that kind of comes out and then it's flowy on the end i think it's really flattering cut because it's crop so you can wear it with high-waisted items but it kind of gives you space to raise it kind of is like pays homage to the california in me like it seems very beachy and boho kind of has that retro look too someone like actually from the 70s would wear it not like the costume kitschy side of like ooh 70s but like genuinely you'd see like some 60s 70s flower child wearing this to woodstock which it's the goal let's be real now on to jackets this is the first one i got i was reading the tag it's actually originally from american eagle which is Cool, I guess it's like actually a genuinely warm jacket which is really nice I've always always loved like the faux fur lined collared look it has that like forced green color too and kind of has like slight like army jacket vibes with like the buttons at the top of the shoulders and like the little very useless pocket right here like what would I use this for I 
like it and it's been keeping me warm it's a little small on me because i am a large human but i know it's going to be keeping me warm it'll be fun to layer different pieces underneath but the next item i got is a trench coat also thrifted it's originally by london fog and it's kind of like a oh wait always oh, it's not like very very heavy necessarily but it's very long which is nice because i can keep my legs warm i know it's gonna be great for like rainy days before it's fall and winter just to kind of keep me warm and keep me dry i just love the color like, having this like light blue trench coat i think it's gonna be so fun i'm obsessed with like the lines and the fit of this coat it feels like so sleek and i feel like so posh like a little english detective when i'm wearing it take me seriously i'm a classy and sophisticated woman when i'm wearing this and then i got this jacket as well and this is just kind of like your classic varsity bomber jacket or whatever you would call it and I've always just thought this look is kind of fun. It's black and silky. Because of this red detailing, it's super fun for me to pair my bright red boots with it or like a top with like red designs and just kind of like tie the whole look together. Kind of has that like, ooh, boyfriend vibe, but like, I don't know who Dwayne is, but you know, it's fun to wear. Okay, and then the last piece is another <laughs> very similarly colored jacket, which is not intentional. I like this color a lot, but I didn't like plan on having two blue jackets. I saw that it was on sale. It's from a company called Bershka, and it was like originally like $70, $75, and it was on sale for like $30, and I was like, okay. I'm a sucker for a good leather jacket. I just think they're badass and fun. I'm wearing black and white outfits underneath, like checkered bottoms, they're like black jeans and like a cool black and white band tee. It just looked so cool and makes any outfit like a little bit more exciting and fun. It feels very high quality and it's very warm. Definitely one of my favorites at the moment. Okay, those are all my items. Hopefully that gave you some inspiration for fall, for shopping for yourself. And yeah, as usual, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys more than you know. Until next time.